Right, should we do this? Hold eight, a tenner, uh -huh. and if one of us breaks palm around the golf, another tenner. An additional tenner. <laughs> Cammy and I are here on the Isle of Arran and we've set ourselves a bit of a challenge. We are going to play all seven golf courses on the island in the one day. Uh, we've got three nine hole courses, we've got three 18 hole courses and a 12 hole course. Now, I reckon we should be all right for time. It's roughly just, just over 23,000 yards. We're gonna play a match and you've never been here, so we're no. gonna show you the ropes. No, everything's new to me, but um, I've obviously heard good things. Aaron is absolutely stunning. Um, everywhere you turn, there's a beautiful view. So we can play a little bit of golf as well. Can't beat it, really. I know, dream yeah. a couple of days. Yeah. So we've partnered up with FootJoy for this video. They've kitted us out. We've got their comfy shoes on. We've got the Flex XPs. That's going to be important because we're on yes. our feet all day. We've got some fresh kit from them. So thanks very much to FootJoy. And yeah, hopefully you just enjoy as we kind of play around. Aye, should be a good day. Yeah, looking forward to it. What are you hitting? <laughs> still cool, I've got the five iron. This stuff. So I've been coming over to Aaron since I was a wee boy. And, you know, ever since I started playing golf, coming over here has always been that little bit special because the golf courses here, in my opinion, are just so much fun. They are, they're that kind of, that island golf, like the kind of golf courses you get on islands in Scotland, they're up in the Highlands, you know, that honesty box, quirky, idiosyncratic feel. They just are, they're a little bit special. And when you get views like this, um, yeah, it's just, it's always a good day. I always love playing golf on Aaron. I think what's great is that, you know, it's, it's, they're not championship style courses by any means, you know, they're not overly long, they're not, I would say they're tough but in their own way, it's not like, you know, they're long and punishing, it's more the kind of local knowledge is king. But yeah, it's just, I love coming over here to play golf, I think it's so much fun, that's the main thing. They're just, it's, um, you know, anyone could rock up in these golf courses and have some fun, you don't need to be a great golfer. And that's the important thing, you know, if you're coming over here for a wee holiday, you know, you might not do all seven golf courses in the one day, but you know, if you come over and you play one, two, or all of them, you're just, you're gonna have a lot of fun doing it. Um, I think that's the, that's why I wanted to come and do this trip. I'm just so glad that, you know, we're able to pull it together and FootJoy, we're happy to, you know, make it happen as well. So, should be a good day out. Ooh, get down. Touch and go. You're quite good with the wedges today though. Like I have never, I don't think I've ever experienced midges quite like this. This is, we're being eaten alive. I mean, look at them, they're all just scratching and wiping their faces, trying to get them away. They just, they are the devil. They are the most evil, evil things, I'm telling you. Oh, you know what, I'll just give you that. Oh, that's the blow up. Oh, get down. Get lucky. They probably think, why are these <laughs> idiots out of this thing? Oh, that's it. 
First on the agenda today is Macrae Bay on the west coast of the island. It's just a nice wee nine hole or kind of heathland territory just kind of carved out of the land, you know, seems really natural. But you found out something interesting about it, didn't you, Cammy? Yeah, well, I was reading up before we came over, uh, just looking at a bit of background history of the club, and Walter Hagen actually paid, played here back in 1937. Um, he came over with Joe Kirkwood, Australian uh, PJ professional, and they took on a couple of local boys. And the story I looked at, it seems like some of the details are a bit murky. It depends who you speak to over here on the island, but the locals say that uh, the local lads were actually one up through nine holes. Nice. But they then played another nine, make it a full 18, and Walter Hagen and Joe Kirkwood walked away with a 3-1 victory. So, still a fascinating story. Incredible that uh, such a legend came here and played golf. Uh, he obviously felt it was a good enough place to come along and knock it around. So, yeah. fascinating. I, on, honestly, I've been here, been coming here 20 odd years, played this course half a dozen times and never knew that. Yeah. Uh, great wee, great wee factoid of the day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're walking the grounds, uh, as I say, a true golf legend. It's pretty cool. Yeah, multiple major winner. One yeah. Of all time greats. And one of the smoothest men on tour, as far as I know. Really? Bit of a ladies' man. <laughs> <laughs> Not like yourself. Not then. like myself. No. <laughs> Oh, it's busy getting eaten alive. <sighs> Take that, it's finished. All square, I think that's yeah. fair. Yeah. Thanks again, mate, well done. Alright, right, on to the next one. Let's get moving. Look at those midges. Jesus. <laughs> right, let's get the hell out of here, guys. So, golf course number one. Done and dusted, Macri Bay, lovely wee nine holer. I'm a big fan of it. Next up, we have Loch Ranza, so stay tuned for the next episodes. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be covering Loch Ranza and Corrie.